When enough people are responding to Maitreya, they will force their governments to allow Maitreya to speak to the whole world. The television networks will be linked together and on that day, Maitreya will appear and be seen, introduced by the television of the world. One simultaneous broadcast, of course, at different times throughout the world. By now, by then, Maitreya will be a familiar figure to most people. Some will be very sure he is Maitreya, he is uh, Maitreya Buddha, he is uh, the Christ, he is the Imam Mahdi, he is the Messiah, he is Krishna, whatever background they have, they will give that to him. Not by all people, there will be many people who are against him, who do not believe in sharing and justice, who will think if he is Maitreya Buddha, then he can't be the Christ. If he's the Christ, then he can't be Krishna. If he's Krishna, then he can't be the Imam Mahdi. But these are all names for the one man who is the head and leader of the group of masters who live behind the scenes of life and who really control the destinies of the planet. Maitreya does not come as a politician. He doesn't come to rule the world. He doesn't come to be the president of this or the, the prime minister of that. He comes to teach humanity. He is a teacher, the world teacher and teaches without for one moment infringing human free will. So on the day of declaration, you will see this familiar figure, but he will not actually speak. Maitreya is omniscient, omnipresent. And for the time of this appearance, I don't know how long it will be, one half hour, 25 minutes, 35 minutes, I don't know. But for that time, he will create a telepathic rapport with the whole of humanity so that each one will hear his thoughts, his ideas inwardly, telepathically, in their own language. So you will hear him in Japan, in Japanese, the French in French, the Dutch in Dutch, the Germans in German, the Chinese in Chinese, and so on and so on throughout the world. He will give humanity a long view of life. He will show us how old humanity is, how many years, millions of years have passed since we were half animal running about without clothes and come to this point ready to change, to change utterly, not just the outer way of living, but change as people interiorly and grow into the gods that he insists we are. In that time, Maitreya will give a, a vision, so you will see it, of the science of the future, the extraordinary civilization, higher, more beautiful than anything we have ever known. While he's speaking, his energy, what we call the Christ principle, the energy of love, will flow out in tremendous potency through the hearts of all humanity. He has said it will be as if I embrace the whole world. People will feel it even physically. This incredible love will evoke in us 
uh, in spontaneous in insight into what he is saying. We will take what he is saying and it will seem true to us in our hearts. We will know that this is the truth. We will be ready to share, glad to share. On the outer physical plane, there will be hundreds of thousands of spontaneous miracle cures all over the planet. And in these three ways, we will know that that one, and of course only that one, is the world teacher, Maitreya Buddha, the Christ, the Imamahdi, Krishna, the Messiah, by whatever name he is awaited, they will know that that time has come and he is ready to show humanity the way. We have the decision to make, to accept this and change and change the world or to do nothing, to leave it, walk away and eventually destroy the world. The choice is ours. We have free will. Then we'll begin the ascent and the awakening of humanity. Not just awakening up to the problems and the, and the work that lies ahead, but awakening inside to understand the meaning and the purpose of life and the parts that humanity plays in this great purpose which involves the whole planet and the planet's part in the cosmos. Then we'll start the third great momentous event, the awakening of humanity. Freed from competition and greed, humanity will evolve faster and higher than ever before in its long history. And because we have among us, living among us, men who are like gods, men who can show us the way, prevent us from slipping back and slipping back into the old ways, with a tremendous inspiration, they will rejuvenate humanity and create the conditions for an extraordinary development of mind. We have barely begun to evolve mentally, but from the day of declaration onwards, this will go ahead faster and faster and faster. The time is coming, and not so very far ahead, when we want something, we make uh, a robot, we make a construction machinery to, pro to create all our artifacts, we will do it by thought alone. Can you imagine that possibility? That is how a master would do it today. The time is coming when the minds of scientists and, and uh, technicians will develop to a point where all the artifacts of our life will be created by thought. And that is only the beginning. Humanity is awakening and beginning to recognize that they are gods. Thank you very much. Thank you.